come to Imola, the port Grand Prix of San Marino. You know the circuit, the Autodrama and Zoe Dino Ferrari. You know the turns, Alta, Minerali Rivaza, Villeneuve, Tosa, Tamborello. Get ready. And we have a great day for the start of the Boers Grand Prix at San Marino with Sandy Robinson and his Lancey on the pole. And we're off to a start. Some bubbles in the back, somebody didn't get off cleanly. Let's see how it comes down into turn one. Sandy Scott Rick. Those are your three up front on the moment. Followed by Dale. And Pat Namaza, oh my gosh, that looks like a catastrophic brake failure. We'll have to go back and look at that one. That looked like Dale hardened to the wall. Oh, he car with Dale. Got the brakes on, just completely failed. Hopefully he'll be able to lift that car back to the pits and get it repaired to continue. Sandy Robinson, still your leader, followed by Scott Richards. Doesn't want to let Sandy get away. Looks like Rick was able to hold onto that third spot in his Porsche 962 as we pick that battle up. This little bottle through the S's. Pat Mad Maz is right behind him. Looks like Thomas Siller in fifth. And Harrison is sixth with a good start. Oh, Rick kind of cooks it in the corner. They have to check up a little. Everybody's cool. Uh, looks like Harrison was able to get by Tom. Oh, and Harrison goes wide. Everybody's still fighting with cold tires. And we'll see if Tom can close that gap to Rick. As they come by, Sandy, Scott, Rick, Tom, Harrison, Pat. Gary Redshaw, Sid, James, Sheldon, Scotty. And we're on board with Tom. Nice ESPN Ford Pro. Followed closely by Harrison in his 956. Definitely looking racy today. See if he can put in a good finish. Yeah, we're missing Bob Robertson. His transport broke down on the way to Italy, so he couldn't make the race. Looks like we're picking up the battle for seventh. Sam trying to hell hold off the head weasel, James Bowders. Just never could quite get the handle on the TV this weekend.
Oh, there's a perfect case. On two wheels, you're going to lose the spots. Yeah, but he doesn't want to give it up that easily. All over the back of the weasel. Trying to put a little gap on Gary Redshaw and that Mazda. James definitely looking pretty smooth. If he would have got off the line a little quicker, who knows where he'd be right now. And Tom Nacella has closed up on the back of Rick Ray for third place. Eddie gets him. Tom on a career run. And he seems like he's pulling out a few tents on Harrison. Gap slowly increasing. Uh, Harrison made up some ground that time. Might have lost a little bit on exit. back on board with Rick Ray we may have to confirm this there might have been a slight altercation between Sandy and second place driver Scott Richards looks like we're scoring Rick is in first place at the moment And that is your confirmation. Rick is your leader.
and looks like we have Jane Bowders into the pit. This might be an early stop. Looks pretty routine so far. And he's back underway. Looks like he's going to rejoin back around 10th spot. Oh, Rick blows the corner. Definitely probably driving with his eyes in the rearview mirror because he knew Sandy was closing every lap. And that allows Sandy to get back into the lead. Let's see if Rick's got anything for him. Yeah, now Rick's got to worry about Scott. You can see him closing in the background. So the two guys that started off the race, one, two, definitely still have pace. And they're making their way back up to the front. Scott is definitely closing. Scott gives the little flash for thank you and he's off after Rick. Rick is trying everything, using every inch of that track to try to stay out in front of Scott. And looks like your leader's into the pits. Stretching his first stint. Pitting at the 32 minute mark. Oh, that stop seemed to take a little bit longer than normal, but he's back out and running. Flashing the lights all clear. Back out on track. And the Q guys are still going at it. Rick's still holding off Scott. Scott 
shots just waiting for the right time to get by. It's inimitable. 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 It's going to happen. Oh, he slips up and gets by. Maybe Rick's having a little bit of issue with his tires. Oh, he goes wide again. Yeah, there's definitely something a little off with that 962 now. Tom comes in hot to the chicane. He's got enough gap over the next place. He doesn't lose a spot. Back out and running. Tom's had a really good day. See if he can bring that probe home on the podium. Back on board with your leader, Sandy Robinson, SBN Lancia, number 914. Oh, well, nobody can say he's not pushing. <laughs> and Scott Richards in second currently. And Rick holding down the third spot. As we're coming down to 15 minutes to go. And Pat Collins in the Mazda. In the fourth spot. On the longer tracks, the mouse is definitely down our horsepower, but on the twisty bits, it makes up for it. Running a nice, consistent race. And your fifth spot, Tom Nacella. SBN Ford Probe. And Harrison having a great run in six, outpacing his teammate Dale Smith this time around.
And Gary Rich in the other Mazda. Currently running seventh. And we're with the captain, Dale Smith, currently running in eighth. Those guys just kept plugging away all race long. They never gave up. That is why it's called endurance racing, because you got to finish and see where you finish, because you never know who's going to drop out ahead of you. Pick up Sheldon, who's currently running in the ninth spot. And the last of the cars that are are running out on track have said in Nissan and Tim. Coming down to the closing laps, we're in a great battle for a position. Dale has worked his way back up into the seventh spot. Trying to close it. No, that's sixth spot. Trying to close in our fifth place, Gary Redshaw. Probably got about two laps left in the race. Can he do it? That would be a great comeback to what turned out to be a horrific start of the race. Gary's doing everything he can to keep that car out in front of that Porsche. Dale is closing inch by inch. Harrison's not far behind either. Bobble by either driver could put Harrison in front of them both. Catching's one thing, passing is another. Gary is definitely on it. 
We'll have to see if lap traffic is going to come to play in this one. We'll see if Sid's going to be a nice guy. Pull over, let him buy. Or try to play spoiler. Gary's closing up on him. Into the corner. Gary kind of checked up a little bit. Made him go a little wide. a little bit on him and he spins right in front of them Gary has a check up deals right on him oh Harrison thought he had a spot they collide Harrison's car goes into the skins oh my gosh look at that again oh my god I hope nobody got hurt on that one fans are scrambling everywhere and that's gonna clear a path for Gary Redshaw Probably his best finish in pours to date. Running with the GTP cars. And we're going to go back to your leader. And what looks like is going to be a fantastic win for Sandy Robinson and Lancia. Here comes Rick Ray. In a 962, he's going to pull off second. Scott Richards in the Jack. He definitely had a fight for this one today. Definitely could have had a second place spot on that one. Oh, Tom, Mr. 300 career run, fourth place. Nice drive, Tom. In fifth place. Okay, you got to live this one. Got to give it up for Gary Redshaw. And Harrison having a great run too. Brings his 956 home in sixth. And Dale looks like he's going to lip his along, coming across the line in seventh. He's already backed it off. He's probably dejected in that car right now, just knowing he had a shot at it. And your eighth place finisher, number 49, Sheldon. You better pick it up a little bit because this is position coming up on a set in ninth place. 